Hello and welcome. In this video, we are discussing about SAP ABAB classes. So, a class is used to specify the form of an object and it combines data representation and methods for manipulating that data into one neat package. The data and functions within a class are called the members of the class. Class definition and implementation. So when you define a class, you define a blueprint for a data type and this doesn't actually define any data but it does define what the class name means, what an object of the class will consist of and what operations can be performed on such an object. That is it defines the abstract characteristics of an object such as attributes, fields and properties. Syntax how to define a class, class, class name definition in the class. So a class definition starts with the keyword class followed by class name, definition and a class body. And the definition of a class can contain various components of the class such as attributes, methods and events. So when we declare a method in the class declaration, the method implementation must be included in the class implementation. Class class name implementation in class. Implementation of a class contains the implementation of all its methods. And in ABAB objects, the structure of a class contains components such as attributes, methods, events, types, and constants. Attributes are data fields of a class that can have any data type such as C, I, F, and N. And they are declared in the class declaration. And these attributes can be divided into two categories, instance and static attributes. An instance attribute defines the instance specific state of an object. And the states are different for different objects. An instance attribute is declared by using the data statement. Static attributes define a common state of a class that is shared by all the instance of a class. That is, if you change a static attribute in one object of a class, the change is visible to all other objects of the class as well. A static attribute is declared by using the class data statement. A method is a function or procedure that represents the behavior of an object in the class. The methods of the class can access any attribute of the class. The definition of a method can also contain parameters so that you can supply values to these parameters when methods are called. The definition of a method is declared in the class declaration and implemented in the implementation part of a class. The method and end method statements are used to define the implementation part of a method. Method, method, name, end method. This index m underscore name represents the name of a method and you can call a method by using the call method statement. Accessing attributes and methods. Class components can be defined in public, private or protected visibility sections that control how these components could be accessed and this private visibility section is used to deny access to components from outside of the class. Such components can only be accessed from inside the class such as method. Components defined in the public visibility section can be accessed from any context. By default, all the members of a class would be private. Practically, we define the data in private section and related methods in public section so that they can be called from outside of the class. The attributes and methods declared in public section in a class can be accessed by that class from other class, subclass of the program. And when the attributes and methods are declared in protected section in a class, those can be accessed by that class and a subclass derived classes only. And when the attributes and methods are declared in private section in a class, those can be accessed by only that class and not by other classes. Report is a access one class class one definition public section data text one type char twenty five value public data. Methods method 1 protected section data text 2 type char 25 value protected data private section data text 3 type char 25 value private data in the class 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 1 implementation method method 1 write to public slash public method slash text 1 slash text 2 slash text 3 skip end method end class start of selection data objects x type of to class 1 create object object x 
call method object text method one write slash object text hyphen text so the code produces the output public method public data protected data private data and public data static attribute a static attribute is declared with the statement class data and all the objects or instances can use the static attribute of the class static attributes are accessed directly with the help of class name like class underscore name name one equal to some text Constructors are special methods that are called automatically either while creating an object or accessing the components of a class. Constructor gets triggered whenever an object is created but we need to call a method to trigger the general method. ME operator in methods. When you declare a variable of any type in public section of a class, you can use it in any other implementation. A variable can be declared with an initial value in public section. And we may declare the variable again inside the method with a different value. When we write the variable inside the method, the system will print the change value. So to reflect the previous value of the variable, we have to use the ME operator. So this was a brief discussion on SAP ABAB classes. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now.